Hi, welcome to another episode of Harrison Hobbies. Today we are going to be talking about lithium batteries and a bit of a continuation here. In a previous video, I built a 90 watt power adapter from a laptop and then we tested it on a few different tools to figure out whether it would be able to power them or not. Uh, we got some mixed results, you know, like a multi-tool worked just fine, a vacuum started to spin, um, but there was too much uh, inrush current there, so it ended up not having sufficient power, and so it cut out. Uh, about a week ago, I went through and did a bunch of testing. I took a couple of leads, put them into a battery, and uh, and then had an inline watt meter. So I'll be doing a lot of uh, tests back-to-back -back and seeing if we can, you know, figure out what that peak draw is during startup as well as what the sustained is. So in doing that uh, I've got a selection of tools uh, lined up for this. Uh, it's going to be a water pump, miter saw, circular saw, drill driver, weed eater, leaf blower, and then the Milwaukee M18 buffer. Um, all of those tools except for the leaf blower and the weed eater are going to be brushed. So um, that's the sample of tools I have. Uh, for this video, I didn't look at the Milwaukee multi-tool because we identified that that could run just fine on 90 watts. Uh, additionally, I didn't have the vacuum because that wasn't in the shop whenever I did the testing. So we can, if anyone is interested, uh, we can pull that out in another video. I'm happy to make another one as a follow-on here. Um, so my intention for this video is going to be uh, have uh, all the testing here, and then as I'm testing, I'll probably just take a quick snippet of the testing. And so, on each of those tools in the video, I'll make sure that I give them, you know, a readout there that shows what the uh, the peak wattage I observed, as well as what the sustained or average wattage is. And at the end of the video, I will put in just a table that shows a comparison, the, the tool name. I don't have model numbers collected on all these tools. I didn't go through the effort of grabbing pictures of all those. So... Uh, again, if you see any tools in this and you're wondering if you can get the specifics, uh, write in the comments and I'll respond with whatever the model number is. But at the end of this video, I will be sure to include just kind of a, a screenshot that shows what all the tools are and then their wattage and their voltage that was tested at. Uh, you'll see also that there's probably going to be some voltage sag. Uh, so, you know, nominally without any load on the battery, it'll probably be running around 18 or 19 volts. Once you apply some draw to it, the chemical reaction takes a little while and you'll end up with sag, so we'll probably be closer to 17. Uh, let's dive into testing and see what kind of results we get. Alright, a quick recap from last time. We've got a 9 amp hour Milwaukee battery. We've got our custom leads here pulling from only two of its channels. Uh, that's going into a 150 amp meter. Uh, we got a little camera here to record that. We've got that going here into our dummy battery, which will eventually be able to have a bunch of power supplies plugged into it. And then in this case, we have the Milwaukee pump. So let's figure out what this is gonna pull. Okay, now we've got the Milwaukee Weed Eater. We're on fast mode here. Let's get a couple of samples. So for our next test here, we've got uh, the Milwaukee uh, leaf blower here. This, I think, is the older, the older style. So let's give this a shot and see what we get.
And lastly, we have here a buffer. Let's go all the way up. Pushing down with considerable force here. So now, after testing all of these batteries, uh, we've got a lot of results here. So as I said at the beginning, uh, I will put a table at the very end of this video. Ultimately, I intend to get three power supplies, putting them all in parallel to give us around 270 watts of output. Uh, and so that should run some of these tools. We'll figure out exactly what it can do based on how well it'll handle the inrush or the instantaneous draw during startup. Uh, if there's more interest in this uh, from either you guys or myself, uh, I may end up getting even a couple more power supplies so we can end up with 300, 400, 400 watt range, which will probably uh, give us the ability to run a lot of these tools. So that'll be interesting. Um, so do make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Uh, that's my first time plugging that here. Um, but by subscribing here, uh, I do intend to review the revised uh, dummy battery there where I put some capacitors in and have multiple leads coming out of the back so in theory I can get these the three power supplies that we'll use or even four or five. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, we'll do the actual testing and then probably, inevitably, some follow on here to see how big we can actually go. So hopefully the information reviewed in this video will help somebody, um, you know, even if you're not trying to build a mains power from this, uh, if you've got some hypothetically maybe some drone batteries or you want to just figure out how long a tool will actually run off a battery you buy, whether it's from Milwaukee or somebody else, uh, these equations can probably be used. So thanks for watching and check back soon for more videos.